Welcome to Excelworks video tutorials. The title of this presentation is how to solve initial value ODE system in Excel and Google Sheets with the function IVSolve. In this presentation we will show you how to solve a system of differential equations and optionally algebraic constraints starting from initial values for the variables. The system of equations must be represented as first order in time but it can be nonlinear in the variables. You can have as many equations as you need, including algebraic equations. You will also need to define a fixed time interval and assign initial values for the variables. Let me begin by introducing the function IVSolve. It requires three parameters. The first parameter is a reference to the ODE formulas. The second parameter is a reference to the ODE variables, and that includes the time variable and the differential variables. The third parameter is a specification of the time interval. IVSolve also takes optional parameters which allow you to control the algorithm, tolerances, and supply additional input for a DAE system when there are algebraic constraints present. IVSolve is not a standard function in Excel or Google Sheet. To enable IVSolve in Excel, you will need to install the Excel App Calculus function add-in. If you're running Excel on a Windows PC, download Excel App 7 from excel-works.com. If you're running it on Apple Mac, in install directly from the Microsoft App Source. In your Excel ribbon, click Insert, Get Add-ins, find the add-in, and add it. If you're working with Google Sheets, install it directly from the Google Marketplace. I am going to demonstrate IVSolve by solving the following three equation system which represents a step chemical reaction in the time interval 0 to 1000. I'll be doing the demonstration in Excel although the solution in Google Sheet is virtually identical. I've started Excel with an empty book and copied the problem for reference. Since our variables here are y1, y2 and 3 then it's convenient for us to just simply work with row cell addresses we are going to select T1 for our time variable and Y1, Y2, and Y3 for the differential variables. Using these variables, I can directly start writing my ODE equations. The first equation is minus 0 0.04 times my variable Y1. And my second equation is 0 0.04 times y1 and my third equation is 3 times 10 to the power 7 times y2 square. I'm done writing my equations now I need to define my initial conditions for the variables. y1 is 1, y2 is 0, and y3 is 0 at time equals 0. So you have to go to the cells y1 and define the value 1 and then 0 for y2 and y3. Now I'm ready to run IVSolve. I'm going to define the IVSolve formula. My first parameter is my equations. My second parameter is my variables. My variables here are not contiguous, so I, I cannot supply a range address. I have to combine them using Excel range union operator using the parentheses syntax. So my first variable is t1 and my differential variables are y1 to y3. Excel will combine all three all these variables into one reference. My third parameter is the time interval and this goes from 0 to 1000 and I'm using the array constant syntax for convenience. Now I have to run IVSolve as an array formula because I'm working with Excel Lab 7 on Windows. If I attempt to hit enter I will get an error instructing me to run the formula as an array formula. To run the, the formula as an array formula I have to allocate the output solution ahead of time so I'm going to allocate four columns and 21 rows and then I press in my formula bar and then press Control shift enter at the same time 
IV solve instantly computes the solution for me. As you can see, the first column is a division of the time interval, uniform division of the time interval, and the subsequent columns are the values of my differential variables. To plot the variables, I can simply, I can simply highlight my solution array and insert an XY plot from Excel. Since the scale is different for these variables, it helps to use a secondary axis for one of the variables here, would be y2. And as you can see now, we can see the transient response of the system in the time interval 0 to 1000. Let me demonstrate how you can control the resolution of the output. You can make the resolution finer or coarser by simply allocating a smaller or larger array. So for example, if I enlarge my array to 32 rows and then reevaluate the formula, you can see now my time division has become smaller and I have additional rows in the solution. Another way you can control this resolution is by specifying the number of divisions for the time variable. So uh, the default is dictated by the number of rows you have allocated in your array, but you can actually request a specific number of divisions. So for example, if I request only 20 divisions and then reevaluate the array, IV solve will report only 20 divisions of the solution and ignore the remainder of the allocated array. If I specify more than the allocated size, I will get an error message asking me to reallocate the array with a larger size to fit the solution. The demonstration we have done with IV solve in Excel Lab 7 on Windows required us to run IV solve formula as an array formula. If you are using Excel Lab 365 or Google Sheets, there is a new spell feature that allows you to run IV solve as a standard formula by simply pressing enter and it will expand into neighboring cells. Also, we have demonstrated that you can control the number of time divisions by specifying a third argument in the time parameter, or you can also specify the exact points that you want displayed in the output. If you are in Excel Lab 7, you will have to allocate a sufficiently large array to hold the output. But if you are working with Excel Lab 365, then the solution will automatically expand into neighboring cells to satisfy your request. Another difference between Excel Lab 7 and Excel Lab 365 and Google Sheets is the way you combine multi, multiple variables into one reference. As we have seen in the demonstration on Excel Lab 7, you can use the union range syntax to combine variables that are not contiguous like we have done with T1, Y1, Y2, and Y3. However, this syntax is not supported in Excel Lab 365 or Google Sheets. So if you're running in 365, as a convenience, we support the similar union range syntax, but we have to pass this as a string value. If you are working in Google Sheets, you can pass the same syntax, but enclosed in curly brackets. On the other hand, if your variables are in a contiguous range, then you can simply pass the range address in any version of Excel Lab. Let me demonstrate this in Excel 365. I've started Excel 365 here and I've already typed my equations and initial conditions. So I'm going to run my IV solve formula. I've typed in my IV solve com formula in cell C. Now, it's, now I've used the same syntax for Excel Lab 7 without wrapping my parameters in strings. And we are, if we try to run this formula as is, we are going to get an error in Excel Lab 365. If we look at the error, it will tell us a value used in the formula is of the wrong data type. So as I mentioned earlier, we because these variables are not in a contiguous range, we, ha we can still use the union range syntax, but we have to pass this value as a string. Now all I have to do is just press enter and IV solve will naturally expand to neighboring cells and give me the solution. Now if I change, for example, my requested time divisions to 15 and press enter, the array will naturally shrink to the proper size without me having to reallocate it. Or I can make it even bigger to, for example, 50 points and press enter. It will expand to as many rows as needed to represent the entire solution. 
obviously it's more convenient to use the spell feature in Excel 365 but, uh, but that's the way Excel works on Windows and that's the way it is. Next I'm going to describe some of the optional inputs for the function IVSolve. IVSolve takes three additional optional parameters. Parameter number four enables you to define a full mass matrix for an implicit system as shown here or if you have a DAE system with algebraic e constraint equations you can specify just the number of algebraic equations in the system in parameter number four for example if you have three equations and one of them is algebraic then that equation must be listed last in the system and you would pass the number one in parameter number four if you have a fully implicit system then you can pass the entire matrix M as shown here in parameter number four the fifth parameter allows you to control the tolerance. You can specify global, absolute and relative tolerances for the entire system or you can specify custom, absolute and relative tolerances for each variable independently. The sixth parameter is a set of key value pairs that allow you to control the internal algorithm and its parameters. Generally you do not need to change these parameters but might be helpful for someone experienced with the solver. In this presentation, we described the ODE solver IV solve, which is part of the XLAB7 calculus functions add-in. The add-in contains a dozen calculus functions for all sorts of problems, including solving equations, integration, differentiation, interpolation, optimization, as well as partial differential equations solvers. If you are interested in any of these problems, check excel-works.com for examples. Thank you.